guess good. Taylor, it looks like you're getting a little bit more comfortable out there. Is would that be accurate? And what have you been working on here over the last couple of weeks to get you to that point? Oh, I say that's true. You know, just getting used to the flow of the game. You know, just practicing hard, playing hard, just focusing on me. And just getting better every week. So that's really kind of just my main focus. But what has that settling in process been like for you just throughout the year? Has there been a was there a moment or a game where you felt like you got comfortable, or has that kind of been an ongoing process? Um, I wouldn't say there's like a certain moment or game. I think it just kind of happens. Uh, you know, once you practice against that good of a defense every day, you kind of kind of have to get adjusted to a you know all kind of all kind of stuff they throw at you. So um, just I'm really just focused on getting better every every uh, every week, and um, it's not really a moment. I would say just focusing on myself, focusing on what I need to do to improve to get to get better for the team and myself to contribute. So I'm gonna say it's like a moment or game. How tough has this this stretch been for the offense? You guys have really obviously struggled to move the ball, but do you take away any positives from this last weekend where you guys were able to move the ball? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, y'all saw the first half, so I saw how, how what we can be and what uh, we plan to we plan to be for the rest of the year. So I mean, we're just taking all the positives from that and uh, just moving on to next week and the rest of the year and focusing on focus on us. That's the main that's the main goal. Is focus on us. Focus on getting better um, individually. Everywhere, everywhere the team has to get better. Everywhere has something they can improve at. So that's what we should focus on. Taylor, what was it about the first half against Ole Miss that allowed you guys to have so much success, especially in the run game? Um, I, I wouldn't say it was a certain thing. We had good injury. Uh, we ran the ball good, threw the ball good, did everything good. Uh, just didn't keep up that energy and that flow in the second half. But we know what we can do. We know what, what we will do for us this season. So just gonna build off that first half and just carry it out for the season. What did you take from Joe John's play calling, especially in that first half? Uh, just doing what we're good at, doing running the ball, just doing stuff that we need to do to move the ball. Not really much of a difference as y'all think, but uh, we just do our thing. How much does it do for you to have the tape of you guys succeeding in the run game and, and putting together those drives? Um, I mean, we we knew we knew what we had in us. I mean, I wouldn't say it surprised us. It's just we've been waiting on waiting on that just that moment to where it clicks and uh, it clicked in that first half. And we we knew what we can do. So we see it in practice every day. The defense sees it. We see it. Coaches see it. Players see it. So we, we never we never thought we couldn't do it. It's just a matter of doing it again. How much has a guy like Javante Barnes maybe helped you? It seems like he's really stepped up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big big time. I mean, ever since I got here, he's been a big big role model to me. Just teaching me how. Teach me how to, uh, you know, play as a freshman. He played a little bit as a freshman. So just teach me how to navigate through school, practice, coaching, attitude, body language, all that stuff. Just uh, being being able to have some similarities to him definitely helps. Um, be the game, toughness. I mean, just, just a leader for uh, the offense and definitely the RB room. Taylor, what's been the biggest shock of college football for you? Um, uh, I guess, well, can't really, can't really replicate that physicality. I mean, the SEC, I mean, you gotta be physical. I mean, I'm pretty physical myself, but I mean, some of those guys, some of those guys got some got some good muscle on them. So I'm just really focused on, uh, you know, just getting 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 myself to that level one day. So just 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 a physicality, I probably say. It was like getting to see Jackson get back in there, second shot, and kind of make the most of it on Saturday. Uh, I mean, we we knew we knew who our quarterbacks have no matter no matter what happens. We, we believe in anybody, everybody. So um, I mean, it wasn't really a shocker. We knew we had a good game plan. We knew we had anybody who went in went in. And, stuff regarding so what really a shot what's DeMarco been like in his demeanor as you guys kind of go through this rough patch of, how has he kept you guys engaged with that really? um DeMarco didn't change if you ask anybody and everybody he didn't change his attitude no matter if he won every game lost every game he, he, he's the he's Coach Murray no matter what so uh I mean love him to death he, he uh treats, treats everybody and us like uh, his, his own so I just um push us hard every week no matter what um Taylor, you getting any baseball swings? Oh, no, I'm, I'm really focused on football right now. I mean, I mean, I, don't I don't know really, if you ran over there at three uh, in the morning or nah, something. Okay. Nah, nah. I just really focus on the football season. Focus on getting better. Focus on uh, helping the team any way I can. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. Appreciate it, man.